is also a really great way to get into the neck. Round this occipital ridge here. Create your suction. Give it a nice lift. A little rolling rotation. And because of this, I can see an adhesion right here it showed up. So I'm going to come in right over that. Just back and forth. Now, if you find your client has absorbed a lot of the cream or the oil. Just reapply a little bit more. Give yourself a nice glide. Don't fight against a dry tissue there. Now she hasn't said ouch yet, so I assume this feels great. Mm -hmm. So now you can see I'm getting a much easier glide because I gave her a little bit of moisture again. I've never been into, able to get into this area and lift like this on people. So even in an area where there's hair, just hold your gun open, keep pumping it, whatever you need to do to create suction. Really loosen that up. Careful around that mastoid process. But imagine what this could do for people who are swimmers, people who have chronic ear infections, children that they're putting the, the tubes into the eustachian area. We really would like to help them avoid that surgery. So you can clear a lot of this out Again, I'm getting a little resistance here. Don't force it. Anchor the skin behind it. Now on this side, her skin turned really, really white, almost a glow color. Whereas on this side, it went nice and pink. So she and I would have a discussion a little later about what's going on in her right shoulder. You know, has she been carrying one of her kids on that side if she has children? Is she carrying a heavy purse? What is it? Now you can also mimic skin rolling. So instead of all the work we did or having to clean lotion off of people, grab that cup and you can see there's already an adhesion right here. So I'm going to come behind there, ease that tissue through, and now just lift up. If you start losing suction, a little pump on the gun. You can see we can get a nice roll right down her spine and watch the texture around the cup. You're going to see crepiness, adhesions, all kinds of stuff coming up, even on somebody this young. So that's what's really fun, is we can actually affect change on somebody even in their teens, 20s. We do work a lot on babies. Love the baby work, because we can go in with these teeny, teeny, tiny little cups and have fun with them. Now we do have one other real favorite piece of equipment, and it comes out of Russia. We are actually an equal opportunity importer. We import from Russia, from China. We import from Germany, South Africa. We don't care where the equipment comes from as long as it works really, really well with what we do. So you can get some really great equipment out there, but again, please make sure that it is always a clear cup that you are working with and always make sure that it can stand up to what we do because we really do abuse this equipment quite a bit. So we've got a nice glute here. She's a soccer player. So she's got some scars here, uh, probably some impact points it sounded like. So we're gonna see if we can loosen those up. We do work a lot on athletes for athletic performance enhancement. Willow Kerber, one of the top cyclists in the world, we've been able to work with her to loosen and separate that IT band. If you can open this up, their stride will change, Their um, cycle on the bike will change and their times actually go down. The nice thing with it is recovery time. We've almost cut out the recovery time. So these are our Russian silicone cups. These are great for sports application as is the gun in the plastic cup. You really don't want to be working with glass in the sporting application. So all you're going to do is squeeze this to create your suction. You can squeeze it again to get a little more and then just lift up and start moving. How's that feel? Good. Good. Very good. So how else can we get a lift on this gluteal group? There's no way. So you're going to see suction cups used for everything from popping out dents on cars. Cups are king. Suction works for almost everything and just gives a very different perspective. Now you're not going to be doing a complete massage with this. You're going to be adding this into your work. People come to you for your hands, but we just don't have to work so hard and we don't have to create any kind of discomfort for our client. 
work smarter, not harder, come in with this cup, loosen everything up, then go in and do what you need to do if there's anything left. So I can come over these hamstrings, give them a really, really nice lift, a little twist here, right down on this IT band. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. This one I always check because you don't want them kicking you. <laughs> because this is a tough place to work out, that IT band. And the fun thing is, usually with people, I do one leg the first time, give them something to compare to. If they're sensitive, you can come around the cup with your hand, keep that sensitivity down. Do not put someone in discomfort with this. If it's really uncomfortable, come in with a suction and release. Now normally I do not work over the table like this, but for demo purposes I do. Please make sure that you're watching your body mechanics as you're working with this. So I would have all of you come over and feel the IT band, but you're on the other side of the camera. Try this on yourself. These work incredibly well in your shower with soap and water. You can work your colon, you can work your belly, you can work every part of you. But do try one leg and not the other. Compare, see if you feel the difference. And do the same for your clients, it's a gift. Most of them are just not in their body but boy, you'll wake them up with one loose leg and one knot. So this comes in a couple different sizes too. So now I can come on to this calf with a smaller cup and just really have fun with these gastrocs. Now, any safety and contraindication for massage is considered for a massage cupping. You cannot do a glide over the posterior popliteal you must do suction and release only so that you don't affect fluid flow through the knee. But I do come off to the side here on all these wonderful attachments, slow down, do a little twist. If the cup pops off like it just did, that's an indication that there's something going on in that area. So slow down, twist a little bit for her. We call that the twist and shout. We can twist as long as they don't shout. So again, always keeping in mind, lift that cup. If you need to do a suction and release to get an area loosened up, go for it. Now this cup, you don't want to pop cups off of people. Just squeeze this again to release it. With the plastic cups, use your finger to release it, and I'll show you that in one second. So now, notice, I cleared proximal before I went distal. Please do not use a cup and start draining from distal towards proximal. You'll back it all up in these areas here. So it's kind of like a traffic jam. You're going to have to clear those cars out front before you can move the ones in back. But really, really nice here. And again, very quick and you can already feel the difference in her legs. <laughs> That's pretty funny. We may have to fix her afterwards. Now, if you are using the plastic vacuum cup, I'm just going to show you how to release that real quick. Make sure that you're doing this correctly and not hurting anybody. So you're just going to come around this way and then just use your finger to release it. And do notice where the cup sticks. It's giving you information. See where it turns red, see where it stays white. Look at every little clue that their body's giving you. Really, the body is an open book. We just forgot how to read it. Now, she's got one little scar in the medial area here I'm just going to grab. Ooh, loosen that up. And for our next video using the machine, we're going to be working on her knees. We're going to work on some scars on the anterior of her body. Now, any of you who do have swollen ankles, though, this is the best. Even if you sprained it 30 years ago, you're going to have some kind of residue in there. Drain, then drain, and then bring that up. So this is what we wanted to show you with massage cupping body work. It's really quick. It's really easy. But the key is knowing what you are doing with it. We do have DVDs out for reference, but we still really suggest you come to a workshop. Start with the DVDs. Practice on yourself. Practice on family and friends. 
then come to a workshop, really amp it up, really get the instruction on what you're doing, and the success rate is going to be incredible. And as always, make sure you're working on good equipment, like a good Oak Works table. It makes a big difference in your practice. This one I love, it's an automatic. I can raise her up where I need her. I can lower her down. And this makes a big difference. I do a lot of work on people who are losing 200 and some pounds. We do a lot of pre and post bariatric surgery work. Imagining opening up the lymphatic system, moving the solid bloat that they think is fat, it's going to raise the metabolic rate, it's going to enable them to lose more weight. They are going to be definitely thicker in their body when I first get them than this young lady here. So for me to be able to lower this down and raise it for each person is invaluable. Now the one thing is really fun with this table is the breast area. I've never seen this. <laughs> this is just a great thing where you actually can drop the area for the breast tissue to fit in or the pectoral tissue on a lot of men. And then you have a lever right under that when she turns over it inflates a balloon under it and brings it level with the rest of the table or I can inflate it more and have a neck rest. This is truly an innovation. So check out Oakworks and all of their beautiful equipment and check us out on massagecupping.com, metacupping.com, stumbled on that one, and also visit theracupping.com. This is for home care and you massage therapists are going to be responsible for training some of your clients in this equipment. So check out all the websites and come and see us at all the trade shows. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.